By coincidence, a large event focused on leukemia and lymphoma was already planned for tonight at Mall of America. Saunders had Hodgkin's lymphoma, a blood cancer that affects the immune system. WCCL's Nina Moyni was at the event and continues our team coverage. Nina? Mike, the families I met today are feeling the loss of Flip Saunders deeply, not just because he was a well-known sports figure, but because they too have seen firsthand the devastation cancer causes. It's never fair and it doesn't discriminate. Calling herself one of the lucky ones. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's so sweet. Melissa Abdouche works alongside other survivors to help find a cure. Here I am, age 41. Military veteran, college graduate, mother of three. I'm healthy and uh, loving life. Everyone here has a unique story to tell about cancer. There's about 150 types of blood cancer. There's leukemia, several types of leukemia, several types of lymphomas. A community no one wants to be part of, but anyone could. Tonight we keep the Saunders family in our thoughts as well as the entire Minnesota Timberwolves organization. We're big basketball fans and my, and my heart skipped a beat. With three generations of her family impacted by cancer, even Maureen Hatterberg was shocked to learn of Flip Saunders past. My husband was uh, tinkering in the garage and I had just heard it on the radio and I ran out and I said, Bruce, oh my God, Flip just passed away and we were, we were both stunned. The youngest member of Maureen's family to be diagnosed, her granddaughter, four-year-old Ayla. What seemed to be a typical nasty little cold turned into something more serious. Leukemia, but Ayla is now in remission. You just don't know with cancer who's, who's going to win the battle and, and who's not. Suddenly, the Timberwolves coach they'd watched command the court for years could have been part of the family. His picture added last minute to the others, a tribute to the ones who didn't make it, each of them a reason for everyone else to keep fighting. We need to find a cure, not someday. We need to find a cure today. LLS of Minnesota currently helps 3,000 people with different types of blood cancers from the Minnesota chapter, which also includes North and South Dakota. The executive director told me the greatest need right now is to fund research to find a cure for these cancers. She said really can happen to anyone at any age, Mike. Oh, we've seen that. And the news of Flip Saunders' death came as such a shock because of what doctors had said back in August, that it was very treatable and curable. Right. It really just all happened so fast. That's what's tough about this. The executive director again for LLS told me everybody just reacts differently to treatment. Everybody's body is different. Every case of cancer unique, but obviously this one really tragic ending here. Yeah, thank you, Nina. Mm -hmm.